Hey, it's me again. Uh, today I wanted to do a little tutorial. Um, I have several planned, uh, but this is gonna be a really easy, basic one uh, about coloring line arts. And most people think you can just say, "Oh, I can just bucket fill this thing, no problem." Well, that's a crappy example, but let's say you want to fill this thing in, you know, black. All that white crap. I can't stand how people use bucket fill and expect to hide all that white fuzz that appears. That drives me absolutely insane. But I have an easy way to get rid of that, and it's, uh, it's a little trick that a lot of people use, but I don't think, um, I don't think some people know how to use this trick yet. So I'm actually using a line art that, you guys recognize this if uh, you watch me on DA, uh, for serious from Star Treader, and what I did is I took all those colors out and I have the basic line art here, and I gotta tell, uh, teach you guys how to uh, color him in, or color any uh, any line art in. And basically what you would do is make sure you have your layer on the lines, this is the only layer I have right now, and what you want to do is you want to use the magic wand select tool, and you're just going to click on the outside of them. And right now, if I use my ink, is color on the outside, you don't want that. You want the color on the inside. So what you want to do is you go to select, invert, and right now you can color on the inside of him. But what I'm going to show you guys, um, even if you fill in here, it'll still show those black, uh, those little white specks everywhere. So right now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a new layer and call this one the actual color layer. Put it underneath the lines. And now what I'm going to do, uh, since this is still selected, I'm on, make sure you're on this uh, color layer here. If I go up to select, I'm going to shrink my selection by one uh, pixel. And you can change it to whatever pixel size you want, as long as it's within your lines. My line thickness is uh, two pixels, so I can actually go two if I wanted to, but to be safe I'm going to go right in the middle and just hit one. What it's going to do is it's going to shrink in slightly. Let me show you guys zooming in a little bit. To get right in between the lines here. Now what I'm going to do for the basic color, it's brown, like a brownish red color. Now let's see here. This is my color I use form. I just go ahead and hit the bug fill. Make sure you're on your color layer. There you go. That's basically it. But if you want to go into, for the detail like shading, uh, what I always do is I make a new layer for shading. Okay, and make sure it's above the color below the lines. Like if you have darker lines, you're doing a lighter shading like a uh, highlight on fur, or scales, or anything like that. Uh, you don't want it above the line because it'll show and it'll look like, oh, like absolute crap. So. You want to make sure you keep everything below the lines. Keep the lines above everything else, unless you're drawing something else in your picture that has to be over this image. Then you can go ahead and put your lines over that, or put your lines below that. I mean, so shading generally I do uh, if I'm if you're using GIMP. I generally choose black, a low occupancy. Uh, the soft brush never use the hard brush because it's it's just too it's just too dark. It doesn't blend easily. With a soft brush, you can have a soft edge on it, and makes it a whole lot easier to blend things. So right now I have to choose very low occupancy, because I don't want too dark of a shadow on him. And just cover the lines, basically. Make that a little darker. And then you can use your blending, or your, uh, your blur tool, to smooth it out. Blend name actually works a lot, heck of a lot easier. But you can see that since I still have this area selected, I cannot color outside of these lines. Everything stays inside. And look! No white crap. It looks nice. So that's my little brief tutorial. I just wanted to show you guys uh, really how simple it is to fill in a line art and not have those little white specks everywhere. What's a good example? All right. Let's say he has something like this. 
and you want to color this in, but you don't want this space color in. You don't want that little space color in. When you use the Magic Wand Select tool, it's going to select everything and not that little space. Well, here's the thing. Um, let's go invert, shrink this down, let's go by two since I had to use a thicker line. Um, we can still use... Screw my spelling. Um, you can still use the bucket fill and everything and fill in like this, but you don't want that little space color in, so just leave it there for now. Do all your little things you want to do with it. And then you go back up to your lines, select that little space in between, and then you're going to go select grow by two pixels. And now when you go back to your color, you can just use your eraser and erase that away. So there you go. You have... Basically, that's the art of filling in a line art. Uh, usually line arts have holes in them, and that's basically what you can do is just color, like basically just scribble anywhere you want inside them, as long as you have everything selected. And then you go back at the end, and take out the areas you don't need, just make sure you grow your selection. Don't shrink it, otherwise you're going to end up with a little bit of color uh, on the outside of your lines here.